Do you know a Yahoo boy? Have you seen a Yahoo boy? Who controls the entertainment industry? Who flies in the industry? Remember, the industry is about glamour. Where does the money come from? How influential are Yahoo boys in the industry? Sheung Shon Jimo, it's good to have you on State of Earth. It's great to be here. Thank you. You are a Nollywood person. Yes, I am. It's all blah. It's about glamour, too. <laughs> I go on your pages, I see glamour, Sheung. Uh, you know what they say. It's show business. You have to show the world what your business is. You know, they have to see because that's what motivates them. You're like a star. You're like a role model. People want to people want to be like you. You understand? So you have to you have to set a standard. You understand? Because the only way people can really look up to you and want to be around you is if you're doing something different. If is if your life is um, emanating the kind of light they want. So it's about showmanship. Definitely. Onyikon Asade Akonde is on state of hell. Onyikon, is it about glamour? Yeah, it's entertainment and it's creative industry. So it's all about um, being a role model to the younger ones, people that want to be like you. Being a role model, does that mean you must drive in flashy cars that you cannot even afford? That does not mean that you have to live the extravagant life. Is that not what the entertainment industry has become? No, that's, not, that's not what it is. So what is it? It's all about you impacting into the public positively through music or through acting. Mm. Okay. Kayo de Adebayo. Yes, sir. I'm happy to have you here. Happy to be here too, sir. Yes, you have been working on culture, on the entertainment sector. You know it. You're studying the system. Yeah, creative economy, basically. So what is going on in that economy? Well, it's not anything that hasn't been happening before. So there's really nothing new. It's just that, um, just like they say, the game remains the same. The players change. But I think it's still what has been prevalent in different societies. And it's not only Nigeria, basically. So we have an entertainment industry that is very youth-driven. And when it's youth-driven, it's, um, you have a lot of... Um, idealistic situations, not realistic situations. And with that, basically, it's more like, it's like the, I call it like the magnet. You act that way, you look that way, you talk that way, then it's able to deliver some fan base to you. And the fan base is the currency of the industry, basically. If you have the strong fan base, then you can talk bigger, you can talk to brands, you can get your showmanship to be more valued, especially when they need your services to be on different platforms to be able to engage your stardom, basically. Sean, is, is that what it's all about? Yeah, basically. Um, the fans are everything. It's, the, it's, it's, it's like, even in politics, it's the number of people that follow you that matter. And those are the people that will vote for you, who has more votes. You know, So as an entertainer, you're more valuable with the number of fans you have. So let's say I have a million fans now. A million followers on Instagram. I'm gonna get paid higher to engage them by companies because I have I have a bigger reach. You understand? But the only problem I have with entertainment in the social media age is that people think they're bigger than who they are. You know, you get to a point of success. Let's say you have a hit song. One hit song is not enough for you to think you can go crazy. One hit song is not, not enough for you to think you can start to speak like Fela or start to speak like Bob Marley. You understand what I mean? You, you, you need a base, a strong fan base. Now, the entertainment industry raises some hope, no doubt. Yeah. When you come, what is the influence of Yahoo Boys in that industry? Um, I think it's no news now. It's all over the internet. We, we all see the fact. We see what's happening on the internet. We see the influence of the so-called Yahoo Boy in the entertainment industry. But I would say... We still have some corporate organizations. We still have some individuals, from entrepreneurs that are investing into music. But Yahoo Boys are also investing. We see it on the internet. You've seen the vi nice video, right? Yeah, yeah some yeah, nice yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those names he mentioned, who are they? Well, I don't know them. <laughs> I don't know them. But you know what? I don't think this whole advent of Yahoo Boy is, is, is new. Mm. 
Yeah. You know, no, this no. is more like uh, back in the nineties, back in the eighties, we had it that the, we had it as as a, the, the, the the channel in which we 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 the work has has changed over time. Now it's more digital. So we probably yeah. call them Yahoo Boy. Mm. In those days it was the four one nines. Fuji yeah. really mm-hmm. experienced a yeah. lot of those kind of people. You know, you had those people that I don't think there was any Fuji um let's say Fuji professional, Fuji artist, that didn't one way or the other benefit from the largesse of some people that we did not understand the kind of monies that entered into their hands or where they got those monies from. It was more like the the hypes. At those times, because that's why I always tell people, especially from my own point of view, advocating for a creative economy, I always tell people, I say, look, there's nothing Afrobeats is doing right now that most likely a Fuji, a Juju has not done maybe in the 70s, 80s. Yeah. These guys were touring all over the world and you you had guys release songs about how they were touring Canada, how they were yeah. doing this. Those things needed to be funded by some people. And we are in an economy where we don't have... Government is not exactly fully hands-on in funding the entertainment So industry. these funds come from where? Can I come in there? Yeah. You see, the driving force of entertainment in any marginalized society... Exactly, it's marginalized. Fraud. It's always fraud. Fraud... Drugs. Drugs. You see in America, yeah? The black community in America. Yeah. We have gangbangers. You understand? People do trap music from gangbanging because the only way they can survive in their society because they're so marginalized that they have so much poverty. So they start with drugs and they try to get out of it. So they start selling drugs, they start gangbanging, and when they start making music, someone might see them and take them out. But when they start, who funds them? It's the drug, drug lords. Now, how do you blow in this industry? Because sometimes it's not just about talent anymore. It's not about talent. So how do you blow? Who makes you blow? <laughs> Can a Yahoo boy blow you? <laughs> that, is, that, is that question a general question? Yeah, yes, you, yeah. it will come to you. But let, yeah. you continue. Let, let, let me start by saying talent is just 10%. It's not the total package. Tell me more. You have talent. We have a lot of people. Even if you go to any university now, ask any young guy, like, apart from schooling, what else do you do? I'm a rapper. I sing. I'm an artist. So we have over a million upcoming artists in Nigeria right now. So but when would they blow? Africa, how would they blow? You have to promote your material. You need money. You need money. To, for promotion. Yes. Is that where the Yahoo boys come in? Yeah. <laughs> that's where... That's a trick question. That's where, <laughs> that's where it comes <laughs> from. But I would like to say something. Okay. Is, if we look at your state, the music industry... In New York State, for instance, how many support system are we getting from the government? But it's business. Do you need government to fund you? Definitely. Yes. It's an industry. It's an industry. It adds to the economy. Definitely. You need the government to fund you. Even, you see, the, the entertainment industry cannot stand on its own. If the government is not helping out, someone has to help out. So it's the Yahoo boy that is helping us. I'm not going to say Yahoo boys, basically, <laughs> because w- when we even talk about Yahoo boys, what are, who are we talking about? What is yeah. Yahoo? That's where we should start from. I also learned that even some of the artists themselves are Yahoo boys. <laughs> <laughs> we will come to that after well, this break. We will come to that after this break. It's not a Mali a Yahoo boy. <laughs> the FCC will tell us, and the courts will tell us. 